Boots and Boots channel today. Today is June 3rd, and we're going to be detailing another customer's vehicle right here. Guy from work. He could pick this up a couple months more. The GMC train. Check it out. We're going to give it a good washing. I'm going to show you guys real quick. The wheels look pretty decent. real good so what we're gonna do your products we're gonna use today is gonna be first we're gonna use the chemical guys citrus wash and gloss to really give it a good cleaning and then after that I'm gonna be we're gonna be I'm gonna be doing a the iron X and the tire X and then I'll uh, clean it wash it again and then we'll do a clay bar with my homemade detail spray from Wolfgang there's a video on that how to make it and you make a gallon of it and for a bunch of doing a bunch of uh, clay bar and it's, it's perfect and then for the wheels I'm gonna be trying out this PNS brake buster we're gonna be cleaning the wheels and tires with that it's supposed to be a good product and then for the final product we're gonna be applying the couple guys hydro charge ceramic spray coating now i'm going to be putting two coats on this for him so we're going to get that make this thing look nice and shiny it looks good right here and then you can see right now i have my shade i usually have my shade for till about 11 o'clock so i mean you can work in a shade outside and you're going to have natural light so as soon as i lose my shade i will put this in the in the garage but i'm going to work out here as much as i can you know getting it cleaned up real good clay barred it and we'll see how it goes for having my shade. Now today is June 3rd here in Michigan, and it's chilly. I mean, we're only, I think, 40 degrees right now. I mean, the temperature is just below average. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, we've been getting rain pretty much every day. Yesterday was the first day we didn't get rain in a, <laughs> a while. And um, it was real windy, and it was warmer out yesterday, but it's, this weather is crazy for how cool it is for June. And we can check out the vehicle, figure out throw that in there. And plus, too, I'm not going to throw, show me doing everything on this vehicle, you know. I'm just making kind of like a video like my other uh, customer. And I'll throw in some shots of it and some, you know, give some uh, trips and ticks. Tr uh, tips and uh, advice on using some of these products. Right here. All right. Let me get to uh, doing the wheels first, and then we'll uh, we'll keep going. Now the ve wheels, I'm gonna have a separate video using this product on there, so I'm gonna just clean them today, and then that'd be a different video using the uh, the wheels. I'm trying to make two videos out of this, so I have some content for you guys. We'll get this cleaned up pretty good. So looks like I gotta clean inside the wheel wells also. So I got some cleaning to do, and then it's gonna take longer actually to get the paint clean. Than it is to actually do the product, so and uh, we'll get it going. All right, guys, let me get everything set up and we'll get going. Started washing it after the wheels, and then I'm, I'm doing the, the inside the door jams first, and then you can see this because this is the reason why we're gonna have to decon everything. You want your paint clean as possible before we put any kind of, you know, that uh, spray uh, sealant, well, uh, well, the hypercharge or any kind of wax or or paint sealant. You can see the yellow. We're gonna do a decon if you guys can see that. Look at all that tar and decon on the white. This vehicle is only a couple months years old. Look at that. So you're gonna we're gonna so I'm saying the prep work is, is more than the actually doing the final product. So I figure I'll show that in there right now. Right now I'm still I'm using the uh, sister's gloss and wash because it's a good cleaner. It really cleans pretty good. And then I'll get it, the paint cleaned up pretty good. And I'm using more than an ounce also. So it's going to strip, it's going to be, you know, it's going to strip some of your, if there was wax or something on it. It's a good cleaner. Um, you can always use it if you do have a sealant or something on there. Just you're going to want to use under an ounce for that product, for that soap. But it's, I really enjoy the soap. I've been using it for a couple years. All right, let me get going. And I figure I throw that in here. In this video, I'm gonna. That's all I'm gonna be doing. Is I'm gonna throw stuff like that in here because I'm gonna start to lose my uh, sunlight, and then I gotta get this in the garage. Plus, too, this is why you clean the door jams. Look at that. Clean all that. 
we're gonna do a little bit of interior for him so even though he didn't want it done well we'll spruce it up a little bit for him before after shot you guys see that cleaning up pretty good Boom, like an iron remover, like the Iron X. You can even use a Meg uh, Guire's wheel cleaner, Ultimate wheel cleaner, I believe. I gotta pick some up and try it, but look at it. Look at all the purple. This is why we get the paint clear as possible, clean as possible, before we use any, any other product, so we can get that product to last. See that? You only let this on for five minutes, and then rinse it, then we're gonna do a tar remover play the hood. Hope you guys can see that. Sorry if my camera's shaky. Kind of moving kind of fast here walk around it yep i sprayed it on the windows also check that out did the roof oh yeah that's what it does check that out like i said you can pick up a wheel cleaner from migs um i think eagle one two wheel cleaner you can use also uh, instead of the uh car pro x car pro x is a little bit expensive um i'm gonna run to the store this week and Pick up some of Matt McGuire's Ultimate Wheel Cleaner and try that out. If it works just as good, then it's better off buying the cheaper stuff. So I'm pretty much out of the Iron X right there. All right, let me let it sit a minute, and I'm gonna rinse her down. We don't want it to dry. All right, check it out. That pretty much got the uh, paint prep. We uh, we washed it really well with the uh, Chemical Guys Citrus Wash and Gloss. We uh, Iron Xed it. I'm out of Iron X. This thing was bad. Um, I'm going to try out the McGuire's wheel cleaner. Not on this, but I'm going to get some. So then I tarred it. The tar wasn't bad. Only a few spots. The wheels had more tar than the, um, the paint. And then I rewashed it after that with clean slate. Right after those two process, rewashed it. So basically this vehicle got washed twice. Look how clean that is. This is just from getting the paint clean. And then I clay barred it with our homemade um, detail spray. You can't beat that. I almost used the whole bottle. So that's the best bet, man. If you guys want to do detailing and for uh, clay blocking, make your own with the Wolf Gains or the O&R. And it saves you a lot of money. It really does. Right here. And plus two, I know I'll bring this up. We went to a car show last week and, and it rained. The, the, during the night and so some of the roads were kind of wet still so when we got there we washed basically we washed the charger in the parking lot at the car show um i brought a bucket with water soaked in I, it was soaked in the wolf gains right here put an ounce that was soaked into the bucket with a bunch of nice micro soft towels and and then i brought my pump spray we prepped it and then we washed it with that like Gary Dean method and and then dried it with the detail spray and this was the detail spray no I used the after wash detail spray or you can use this and the car looked great and it was safe plus two wasn't that dirty so it was great but we'll take a look at it all right now next I got to do and not before I do anything I'm gonna I gotta do the IPA wipe down and what this what an IPA is is alcohol and water 50 50 mix and What it is you spray it down you want to make sure you get anything off from all the work you did to make sure the paints really clean Especially even if you polish I'm gonna do the hood. I'm looking at the paint man. It's beautiful. I really don't even have to polish it I'm gonna do the hood. There's a couple spots that I didn't like But check it out And that's IPA just helps make sure your paint's clean before you do any of your sealant or wax. He's gonna be happy seeing this thing. I mean, man, just just doing this cleaning looks like I waxed it. What do you guys think? You let me know. All right, let me get going. I'm gonna do the hood, and then we're gonna get set up for the hypercharge on here. What do you guys think now? Keep watching. And we'll see the final results pretty soon. Man, that looks good. The prep is done. Check it out. Looking good. I could give it to him like this. That's how good it looks. This looks better than factory. Man, that looks good. I'm, man, I'm geeked up. That looks nice. 
and this is that that's why it's important to get these the prep work get this paint clean right here look at that now that's clean all right now we're gonna put the hypercharge we're gonna do two two coats on this for them and basically you're gonna shake it up and this stuff um came in later a couple coats actually i think on their come up guys testing they did up to four coats we're only gonna do two on this so basically i mean it, even if it just lasts six months if you did this every six months as long as your paint clear clean and you really don't have to do uh clay bar each time it ain't bad we'll have to see on the jeep we're still testing it and um out in little test uh, some spots on plastic too and hopefully the nozzle works so basically what we're gonna do oh that's frozen from last time. Sorry about that. There we go. Just a little bit for now. And then back and forth. And then we do cross. It's, gonna be, it's hard to see on this white. That's why one reason too we're going to do two coats for them. So we make sure we get good coverage. Yep, that's it. If you guys can see it, it's hard to see with this white, but yeah. And then if you don't want it on your plastic and you get it on plastic, just we'll wipe it off right away and it comes right off from the experience we had using this. And, um, and that's what you could do. All right. We'll continue to go and then we'll, we'll buff it out and then we'll show you the results before the second coat. I'm not going to go over the whole thing with you guys. Try to spare you guys a long video there we go check that out if you see it all right we'll continue to go we're all done with the first coat right here and getting ready to put on a second coat um i didn't find anything online when the when you can layer it to wait i would say i don't know maybe in one to three hours we're going on almost two hours so yeah i think that's about right but here's what she looks like with the one coat it looks good now I did not polish this okay there was really no reason it's pretty no swirl marks in it no light scratches or anything so didn't polish it basically clay barred it did all that decon stuff and then applied the product you want to we want to because you know preserve the clear coat because this is driven every day also so so no need to I give them credit at least that way they were washing it and they didn't uh have any uh light scratches or swirl marks pretty good but yeah i mean granted if you're gonna like i said before another video that if you really polished it you're gonna get a better shine yes more mirror like shine that's for sure but uh we're preserving this baby and he wants he just wanted some protection on it too to make it look good so it came out nice so we'll put the second coat on there see what it looks like i don't think it's gonna look any different and then close this video off so well we'll have to get to work I'll, I'll finish two coats check it out the bugs are already getting on it look at that look at that shine two coats i say two coats is the way to go with this uh hydro charge take a walk I, on the black trim i put um, the adams vrt on there i did not go put it on the plastic I wanted to, if I'm going to test it on plastic, I want to put it on my own vehicle. I don't want to mess up a customer's vehicle or a guy working his vehicle. So I'm going to test it on the Jeep and then see see what we think of it. Or maybe even my Fusion. So I drive it every day. Well, the Jeep driving every day. The Fusion's driven into a industrial environment. Check it out. Looks good. Looks really good. With this product, that's it. And I, uh, so yeah, check it out. Two coats is the way to go. And I decided too, I'm gonna put this uh, hydro charge on the Dodge Charger pump crazy. I gotta do a paint correction. I'm gonna put two coats on that. And then I'm gonna top it off with something. And um, after it cures for like 24 hours. So you guys will have to stay tuned. And it might be a couple weeks. So uh, that's, that's my goal for that. Um, I think it's a pretty good idea. I did some looking up on it. But can't uh, spoil it. What I'm gonna top it off with. Um, so that'll be. I'll make two videos on that. And 
So yeah, first time here, we do uh, car show videos. We test out detailing products. Uh, we enjoy doing it. We show our cars, our passion for cars. And uh, we sometimes will throw in some footage of uh, repairs on our own vehicles and just our car passion, stuff like that. So if it's something you guys enjoy, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And if you think this is gonna help somebody, share it. That'd be cool. But um, that's it. You know, thanks for watching. This dog barks every time I gotta try to do something. And you guys have a great one later.